Okay, so what you're going to watch now has actually been a secret just for me uh, for around a month and that's because I'm going to illustrate two birthday drawings and one of them is Carrie, my friend and pen pal and the other one is lovely Marina, I know you're watching as well. I have no idea if you will watch this after or before your birthday but no, nonetheless, happy Ooh. birthday! I hope you have a wonderful day. And yeah, as mentioned, we are going to surprise both of them. Um, none of them knows that I'm doing this. Uh, for Marina, it was her lovely husband. The name, how to pronounce it, is not very clear, but my guess is Marcelo. Again, it was a guess. I, I apologize if it was very wrong. <laughs> But he wrote to me and asked if I could surprise his very lovely wife. So that's what I'm going to do. Please know if you think this sounds like a fun idea for one of your friends or family members, making something will have a prize, but asking me to say happy birthday if you know they're watching will be for free. And if you want to know the prizes, you can just go to my Kofi where you can see what the prize is for commissions. But now it is time to start working on those two birthday drawings. I'm not sure what to do exactly yet. I know for Marina it's going to be something with her and her husband and Mr. Doc doing something creative. And for Carrie, I don't know. We'll see where my brain and creativity takes me. So I'm just in love with this idea. It took some time, but... I just, I'm so happy. It is so detailed compared to the amount of money I take for commissions, but I just, when I get an idea, I need to do it. So now I just need uh, Marcelo's accept to continue working on this. And um, while I wait, I just think I will take some time to work on Carrie's birthday drawing. Okay, sketches for Carrie is done as well and I actually decided to make a spread of stickers mostly because I know her on a personal level so um, that helped me and at the same time she has an Instagram account where you can follow a lot of the stuff she, that she likes and does so I definitely took advantage of that to create these stickers and hopefully she will love them because I know she does a lot of journaling so yeah that's the case I would love to continue on these because I would love to finish them today but I just think that I need to take a break now and just drink something and do something else and then sitting down so I will come back to these eventually. So, Carrie birthday stickers are now done and I think they turned out so adorable. I'm so happy. This took me though four to five hours. So that was a long time, but there is also a lot of personalized stickers. But that also means if I'm going to make this as an option for you, 
it will have to be the cost of around uh, 400 Danish kroners or in US dollars that would be around um, 63 US dollars. And I know that might seem like a lot for this, but let me tell you, that will pay me a very low payment for doing what I'm doing. And you know, the special about this is there will only be these once. It will not be a mass productive thing or mass production thing. So um, that's why the price will be like that. And I will add it to my Kofi where you can find it if you should be interested in giving yourself, a friend or a family member something like this. And if you don't find this interesting or don't have the money, that's totally fair as well. I just wanted to let you all know that it is out there if you should have the interest. But now it is time to pack up uh, Carrie's little present here because she has very conveniently uh, actually ordered something from my shop. So I'm just going to put that all together and I can just put this in a special envelope saying you may only open this on your birthday. So she does get it beforehand. So very excited, let me just go do that. And then um, afterwards we can maybe start working on uh, Marina's birthday drawing and finish that as well. Okay, so I just got inspired by Alice in Wonderland and decided to write Open Me on your birthday. So, you know, like eat me <laughs> the snack. Um, and I'm just going to take this. Oh, sorry for the noise. I just need two hands to do this. I think I'm just going to put it under so she only sees it after she lifted this up. But otherwise, that is ready to go now. Oh man, why should this happen? So it's just the absolutely max amount for what I need to pay, or otherwise, I should just pay the price above that to make sure this is getting correctly through because that would just be so not nice if she has to pay extra because I didn't pay enough for the shipping. Man, how annoying. So this is the mess I am left with after packing these two orders where Carrie's birthday surprise is in. Um, and I'm so hungry. So I just think I'm going to take a break, eat some food, and then maybe we will get back to working on Marina's birthday drawing. Okay, so after a lot of time, I have finally finished Marina's birthday drawing. And here it is. Look how cute. I'm so excited. I'm just going to include a little happy Mr. Doc flying with hot balloons and I also wrote a little personal note. Ah. Are you done yet? So I just had this idea that I wanted to make it very clear that this envelope was for her present and therefore I just decided to make all of these nice labels if anybody else should be interested. Think of how I can evolve this idea of making uh, some personal illustrations or just general illustrations for presents or as a surprise for friends or family. So yeah, made this design I think super cute and it's just you know letting people know that they can only open this envelope on their birthday so this is very convenient also if people want to send them to the person with their name and address letting them know they cannot open it until it is their birthday so now i'm just super excited to cut it out and try it on this envelope and then we can ship them all out Okay, so the envelope is now ready to be shipped. 
So once again, happy birthday to Carrie and Marina. I thought it could be fun to try to say your names in Danish, just because you know it sounds so different. So uh, Carrie, your name in Danish would be Carrie or just Carrie. And Marina, you are from Germany, so it might sound similar, but in Danish, the name would be Marina. So that was just a little fun thought I had, I wanted to share with you, but uh, now I really need to go, but it was so fun creating these birthday surprises. Okay, so we are now back to the present time and I hope you're all having a great time, birthday or not. And I think it's time to give myself a little present, not because it's my birthday, but because I have been working my ass off for this item. So let me just go get it. Maybe you already know what it is. I give you the long brown box. And in this box, there is my sticker cutter machine. I cannot believe I am actually one who owns a machine like this now. It's such a dream come true and it is so expensive, but now it is in my hand. Hopefully everything is okay. There is a hole in it and also on the top. So I just hope everything is okay in here. But let's open it up right now. Sorry. There's not a great indicator for how to open this. It's actually a bit confusing. Get out of there. Why are you stuck suddenly? Come on, wake me, baby. Uh, is that a, the lock? Oh, it's Belle. Hello, beauty. Oh my god, she's so adorable. She has just discovered the snack I have been giving her. So you can experience noises like these for the next couple of minutes. Oh, there it goes. Anyway, back to the package. Is this a lock or something? What is going on? Do you not know how I do it? Oh, let's try again. Uh -huh, we're getting somewhere. Okay, so apparently it's not even a box. It's just this type of paper around this other box. And I think it kind of makes sense. So it's upside down. But as you can see, I decided to go with the Silhouette Cameo. There were so many suggestions and I really appreciate all of them. This is the choice I have made because I needed to make one in the end. Otherwise, I would go crazy. So I decided to try my luck out with this one. You can just look at Pearl while I'll manage to unbox the rest of this. Here, much better. Oh, sorry. Okay, so I think she's almost done now and I am pretty much done now too as well with at least unboxing. So now I just have this huge amount of mess in my studio again. Ugh. Anyway, this is the beauty and I hope we are going to have nice times together. I know a relationship with somebody like you can be difficult, but I will try anyway. So I know a lot of you maybe will love to see me. Oh, this is so satisfying. Wait a minute. Anyway, <laughs> I know many of you would love to see me do something with this, but 
to be completely honest, oh my God, this is dark. Get away from me. Thank you. Okay, this is not working. Let's just talk face to face. <laughs> Okay, back, back to focus, back to focus. Okay, so to keep the honest relationship that you know I really value together with you, I am just having a very tough time and you will understand why when you see my next video. But I decided to separate them because in this video I just want to keep focusing on these two birthday people and this freaking amazing goal I have obtained in my life. Um, but this will also be a separate video for around two weeks uh, where I will hopefully have made some kind of product with that. <sighs> Please be good to me. Be good to me. I need this. So yeah, I hope you can wait a little longer. The next theme of products we're going to be doing is Halloween. So I hope you are ready for that. I am very excited, even though I'm not let's make scary things type of person. So uh, let's see how we can combine something scary and something cute at the same time for the next upcoming videos. But before I end this video, I also have one last thing that I want to show to you, just so you know what is going on in my life and my thoughts. So if we just walk by all this mess over here, uh, I have different situations I want to talk about. So first of all, I was going to ship out this order once again because they haven't received it yet. But then my printer started being annoying because it, it just started making lines like these. And then it evolved to this after cleaning it. And it looks fine. So I don't know what's going on. I have contacted Epson to see if they can help me if this doesn't change for the better by itself in conclusion this meant i could not fulfill this order and ship it out again but then i got a message from the person saying they, that they have now received the order so you know you only have the magic you choose to see so i like to see this as a sign helping me letting me know that the package will arrive i just need to wait a little longer even though it's annoying that it means that my printer is now maybe not working. <laughs> but anyway, thought that was a little fun moment. Another thing, I found you could switch something off. Uh, so I now have the option to say it needs to print from semi-high quality to high quality and look at that different. I know it's not like super much but still look i'm so excited that i'm now able to actually know how to print in a more vibrant color on just normal printer paper as yeah so very hype about that also you know i am slowly learning how to deal with an online shop and just made a lot of products just to get started and i now really want to clear out the things that doesn't sell very well and also, you know, we are moving towards fall, so all the summer and spring themes to just pause them, to let them be and come back when we again is in spring and summer, but then we can focus on fall and winter stuff. So to help me out do that, I am thinking about having a sale with the stuff I have now, so I will not print more, but with the stuff I already have, make a sale on that. So I can also just look at all of it and maybe even totally remove some stuff that I doesn't think is worth the time and effort. So I can keep doing stuff that I like and still earn some kind of money from it. So yeah, I hope that kind of made sense to sum it all up. I am planning on making a sale while I'm also thinking about, you know, the whole next theme is going to be Halloween and fall, hopefully evolving some kind of sticker sheets. That would be so fun, but we'll see where life takes me. But um, that is all the updates for now that I have for you. 
So I think it's just time to end the video here. I hope you're all staying loving and caring and that you're all making sure to give yourself a little present or something else to remind yourself that you are a valuable human being. And you know, it doesn't have to be expensive stuff or things overall. It can just be a compliment or a letter or something else. You know, let's be creative. Let's show in how many ways we can compliment ourselves. <laughs> Maybe we should make that a challenge. Oh, so many nice ideas out here in the world. Anyway, back to actually ending this video. <laughs> so I think oh, I have so many things I could talk about all the time. Anyway, it's now time to stop talking and just let our body move. So uh, that's the clue to uh, start the dance party. Yeah.